Event 10 of the 2019 Marble Olympics, The Maze. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Woods. Similar to the Amazing Maze Tournament, we take a look at our standings so far. The Raspberry Racers sitting on top, 122. A decent gap clear down to the Green Ducks in second. For this event, you will have several teams traversing the maze at the same time. The farther down you get, the more points you get. 20 points to those who finish. You get stuck up on the top there, and it looks like a couple have, possibly the Raspberry Racers. Then you get zero. There are also going to be a couple of ball bearings that you will see coming down the course to sweep any stuffed marbles out of the way and get them going once again. You can see the numbers down there in the bottom corresponding to the points that you get. And this is an all-out brawl. If you were expecting a lot of craziness in this event, I think you're going to get it. The Savage Speeders look to be setting themselves up to finish with one marble. Like I said, four teams per heat. And it all comes down to not necessarily who finishes first, but how many get down there in the end. So far, the Savage Speeders doing a pretty good job at that. And they look like they may actually get at least three of their marbles. One of them stalling up there in 14, now advances down into 15. These marbles can't see too much when they're in the maze, so they've got to be careful. Taking their time, slow as can be. So the score, the way this is going to work, is going to be the combination of five of the marbles per team. So it's not just the four. We have the alternate in there as well. As you can see, Thunderbolts have one stuck in the 14. Balls of Chaos still working their way down. That was a ball bearing that just crashed on through into the 16. Can they get themselves down into the bottom for 20 full points? Yes, they will. And that appears as far as we'll go. So you can see several marbles stuck throughout the course. The Savage Speeders are going to combine for 88 points. Four finishers, same with the Balls of Chaos, and they will advance. All right, you kind of get the hang of this? I hope so. Down they come, and especially early on here, look at the, just the log jam that you get. It's a traffic jam shouldering back and forth, nudging each other, pushing different marbles. It's kind of a free-for-all, and I think this is a good event because this late into the Marble Olympics, there's a lot of pent-up frustration. And obviously, we don't want to encourage outright violence, but I can see... This being therapeutic to some of these teams. Now, the Rangers are setting themselves up pretty well so far here. They've got three marbles past the 13 mark, looking to add another. One still stuck back in the 10, section two. Down they come, Galactic. Looks like they've got a couple that are poised up there in the nine. And they aren't going anywhere fast. Rangers, they're going to have one non-finisher at least in the 10. As another one of theirs down at the bottom in 16. Can it find its way down into that bottom shoot? Yes. Looks like we're going to have a lot more non-finishers in this heat than in the first. But with three finishers for the O-Rangers, make that four, actually. That's going to be a 90-point haul. Domination even over the second place, Mellow Yellow. The Wisps, the Green Ducks, the Oceanics, and the Jungle Jumpers. All bearing releases them, and down they come. Looks like everybody got out of the starting platform, at least. And look at this, a huge line. The ball bearing nudges a couple of them away. Otherwise, you would have had five or six marbles stuck up at the top. Now there's a trio back in the four section. Look at that blue off to the left side of the screen. Three marbles stuck side by side by side. And then you got four down there. It's almost a dead end against that Ubalino block. Very interesting the strategy on this one to decide how, how quickly do you want to get going knowing that one simple nudge in the wrong direction if you carry too much momentum could push you down a dead end and get you caught somewhere up the course. How carefully do you weave your way? And look at this. Three marbles. That's it. Two green ducks and one oceanic. The rest, zero. So hey, that means the oceanics are moving on and are guaranteed points. They've got to be really happy about that after a pretty dismal start to this Marble Olympics. Again, it's not necessarily where you finish in the heats, though. You've got to do well in the final. Points guaranteed, nonetheless. 
Hazers, they are organizing a pretty good launch down there. Look at all of the Hazers down in the bottom part of this course. They're going to be tough to beat if all of them continue to make their way down. And so far, things are looking pretty good for them. Easy cat's eyes. They're also fighting down there. They've got a couple of marbles. I noticed two of them stuck farther up the course. Just off screen right now. And here we start to get some finishers. Much more than the three that we had in the previous heat. A little bit of argy-bargy down there. Look at that quartet of marbles stuck up there. One of those actually might have been the ball bearing. So a trio of marbles, but a fairly clear course otherwise. Just looking at the inset at the top of the screen, there might have been some in the upper starting gate. But this is a thinking event. This is not so much a brute force or high athletic skill. It's a lot of strategy mixed in. As the camera pans up top, there's the trio that are stuck. Anybody else up there? There's another. Now well, we've got a few. And another trio up top, too. But moving on, it will be the Hazers and the Pinkies. Chocolatiers and Crazy Cat's Eyes, they will go no further. As you can see, the relegated from 9th through 15th. That tie for 15th, in case you're wondering why there weren't 16, of course. Well, hey, on a lighter note, don't forget to be awesome. Go to our web shop. You can purchase t-shirts, hoodies, and team decals. New items will be added soon. A little bit of a disappointment for the crazy cat size, I might say, up there in fifth in the Marble Olympic standings. Mellow Yellow, the Pinkies, the Green Ducks, and the Savage Speeders. All of those are in the top part of the standings, except for the Pinkies. They sit dead last in the Marble Olympic standings. They are tied with the Oceanics, but that tie will be broken, depending on where they finish here. Savage Speeders working on that high line. And a lot of marbles caught higher up on the course. I don't know that we're going to get a ton of finishers on this one. Looks like the Pinkies and the Savage Speeders, they're getting right down there to the end. Can either of them get through that gate? There go the Pinkies and the Savage Speeders. And being brought up back behind. Green Ducks navigating their way around. Mellow Yellow. Looks like they're going to get a finisher. And that stalls the Green Ducks down in that 16 range. These last two marbles, they're both going to opt for the high line so they don't dislodge it. That keeps their points haul a little bit safer. Smart decisions there. And it's the Pinkies and the Savage Speeders tied at 46 that will advance past semifinal A. Perhaps that one little nudge making all the difference. Semi-final B, the Rangers, Oceanics, Balls of Chaos and the Hazers. Can the Oceanics continue their climb out of the bottom of the standings? They gotta get through that log jam up top. Half a dozen marbles already stalled up there. What can the ball bearing dislodge? Maybe one of the Hazers at most. Another one of the ball bearings released. Oh, Rangers down there toward the bottom. Now a good run by the Hazers. They've got two past the 12 mark. Oceanics trying to close that up as well. It's taken them a little longer on the upper end of this course. But the good thing is most of them are still in motion. One of the O-Rangers stuck up there in the blue four section. And now another one caught up behind that ramp in number eight. Looks like that's going to claim three marbles just in that one part alone. And are we going to get another log jam? No, a little nudge there. Thank goodness gets everybody going again. Well, briefly. One of those is a ball bearing, of course. The other... Benefactor is an O-Ranger. Down there on the bottom of the course, we've got a good handful of finishers so far. Oceanics, they might get three out of this. And from what I see, that's going to tie them. And that should be O-Rangers. All right, they've got another one. Unless it gets stuck here. Oh, and it will get stuck. Ball bearing not going to be of any help. The O-Rangers one part short. They stop in the 16, so what does the math work out to? The Oceanics are moving on along with the Hazers. First time this season, the Oceanics will be in a final. Balls of Chaos, or Rangers, they fall short. Mellow Yellow, same thing. They were in fourth in the standings. Meanwhile, Pinkies and Oceanics, two of the teams that are in dead last. No medals between them. Well, one of them is probably going to be guaranteed a medal here. Question is, which is it? The Oceanics have two 
working their way down the course. A lot of different pathways rocking back and forth. I see the Savage Speeders have one stuck higher up along with the Pinkies. Let's see if that comes back to bite them. Meanwhile, Pinky's doing a pretty good job farther down the course. Hazers as well. They're taking the high line, middle line, and low line. Savage Speeders. Looks like they may have two finishers down here. Or they get nudged away by the Hazers, but they still manage to get them in. Pinkies, they have a pretty good swarm at the end. Watch those ones up top. Savage Speeders. Ooh, little dodge there. The Hazers also get a couple in. And going to add another one. Yes, here come the Pinkies as well. Hazers still have one moving. Oceanics caught up there in 14. Hope you got your calculator or your abacus or whatever you're using because this is going to take some number crunching. Who gets gold in the maze event? Add it all together as we pan our way up the course. A difficult one. And it's the Hazers. The Oceanics missed the podium. Oh, my goodness. As close as can be, they still get 12 points off of it, but it's the Hazers, the Pinkies, and the Savage Speeders who come away with the precious hardware in the maze event of the Marble Olympics. Hazers, up there in third to begin with. They move up one now to second. Raspberry Racers holding on, and even though they got silver in this event, the Pinkies are still dead last. Next up is the Dirt Race. Thank you for watching.